Hey guys, it's Sunday afternoon. I am editing a vlog. Just got out of the shower, cleaned up a little bit. I've taken literally Excedrin. Took three, I believe, are my best friends. They're not very, they're not working very well anymore. Oh, I took some again today. I've been taking them almost every day and really my body is so sore still i haven't gone to the chiropractor because i'm just working 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 oh it kind of freaked me out i saw this some girl like dying from a because the chiropractor snapped her neck the wrong way pinched something like a nerve and so gross truly i haven't gone it's because i'm still peeling from my facial especially right here for some reason too and i don't know if it was because like i was blowing my nose so much um it's starting to feel better a little bit she gave me like retin a fix all of this for next week so we'll see how that is but i don't know why i always talk about my skin i always feel like that's because i'm looking at myself in the camera i used to be okay with not wearing makeup but i think this is making me feel a little insecure i don't think i really vlogged a lot this week because i was sick this week has been amazing really amazing the week before thanksgiving work was really busy and i just wanted to update you guys because i haven't updated you about my meetings i'm learning and i said i would so i don't know if that's what you guys want to hear i love it i really do i've only gone six classes and they're all different meetings but i literally feel almost like they're my family already it's so crazy when they share their stories you'll have so much empathy for them and you can relate to them so much that you feel even closer than what you normally feel if someone shared their story it's just really awesome i um, shared a little bit once it was last week i went to the danville sunday class and literally i think there was five people my first meeting there i think 40 people that is a little more scary to share and there's so many people that you're not the only one that's not sharing being at the danville makes me want to share because i'm the last person to share <laughs> But they said every time you share it gets better and better and better. Release so much pressure. So they said a teapot. Like you know when the teapot is steamy. It's like you. Like every time you say or share your story. A little bit of steam comes out every time. I feel so pressure. It's honestly my body hurts all the time. At first I thought it was like stress from like. Because my dad had cancer. I thought it was all of that. And then I literally thought it was my job. And it might be a combo. Stress my job. Now being at Al-Anon. I literally know it's that because we suppress all of our feelings for so long that our body starts to paralyze itself because our body starts to react. That totally makes sense and that's exactly what it is. I cannot wait until I go to meetings because I want to let all those feelings that I didn't feel out so I can feel better, start healing myself, recover. I love it so much. I do still get anxious and stuff. Morning, I started to realize Every morning, I'm anxious. My mind's running a million miles an hour. My body starts to hurt, but it's this constant cycle. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. <laughs> 